I flew all the way to Colorado to meet with a very special guest, Paul Robinson. For those who just got into climbing, Paul is a professional rock climber. And about one and a half years ago, I had an opportunity to be coached by Paul for a session. And that session was extremely helpful for my progression in climbing. Fast forward to today, I can't wait to learn from Paul again. We're gonna do one slab climb that's gonna be super technical and then we're gonna move to something a little bit steeper to work on technique on steeper walls. Are you ready? I'm excited, yes. Okay, Let's this yellow it. one. Good, now switch the feet. Good, left foot high. Now right foot high. Get it up on top of the volume. Very good. Yes, now you have to Oh, make sure that this foot is placed really well because you had it kind of placed like on the side. Mm -hmm. So when you get this left foot up, rather than bringing it on the outside, try to bring it on the inside so that you're standing on the foot rather than kind of like sidestepped. You want to stand like this on a volume. So this I'm staying on and then I go like this and I'm slipping. So the more surface area that you can possibly get on the volume, the better. So by dropping your heels, it's gonna allow all that climbing shoe rubber to stick to the volume. <laughs> yep, foot on the inside. Good, very good. Yes, now turn your right foot. Turn your right foot, yes, good, slow, slow. Yes, very good, very good. Now, get your left toe high, yep, and bring your right foot up to the top of the feature. Or onto the yellow foot, whichever one you prefer, and then you just have to stand up and the top's good. Oh! Now we're gonna get Lizzie on the boulder. She'll be able to give some techniques to a geek climber to help him get to the top. Ooh, good. Did you see how she really wrapped her feet and then right foot to the top of the volume? And then you can just stand up. It's all about transitioning the weight from this to this. You need to get it up here or on this foothold. Okay, that's super important. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, you're up. Switch feet. Yep. There you go. Yep. Foot inside. Good. Very good. Yep. And just wrap, wrap the foot. Come on. Slow. Very strong. Good. Yes, good. Build the right foot up a little bit. Yep, get the left up. Good, good. Now push off of the right foot. Get your, get your right foot a little higher. Your right foot is still really low. Really gotta get the right foot as high up as you can on this feature. On slabs, you can create a different balance point because here you're very kind of tight and you're not that close to the wall because your elbows kind of push you out. So when you're here, get this left foot up and then you can come out here and then up. Basically, by bringing the right hand out right, it allows you to shift your body weight over. See what I did? Good, very good. Yes, there you go, take a breath. Good, good. Build the feet up to the top. Yep, get it all the way up there. You can get it up there. There you go. That's good. Yep. Take the right hand off and then windmill up. Oh. Yes! Oh. <laughs> good job. Yeah. The second you brought your hand out like this, it brought your body closer to the wall and then you were able to stay very flush and in line with the wall mm -hmm. to do that last move. That's amazing, thank you. Good job. Yes. <laughs> good job, dude. I want to get you on this white one. 
I saw someone trying this white one the other day. It's a six. You're gonna be doing some swinging. This move, especially right here, you get like this, and then you have to do a jump to this one, which is a pretty cool move. But besides that, I really want you to concentrate on trying to keep your feet on and use them as much as possible. Because when we're climbing in this steep terrain, every single second that we're hanging is just zapping all of our energy. I mean, we've got about 20 feet of climbing here, so we wanna make sure that we've got ample energy when we get to the top to finish this climb. Good. Very good. Good. One more time with the left. Yes, there you go. Very good. Now, big move into this jug. Yes, good job. Oh, yeah. Right foot high. Get it up here, right here. Turn your body. Yep, there you go. Get it on there. Come on. There you go. Go. There you go. Good. Next one's really good. Very good. Just come on, you got this thing. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so when you're here and here like this, and what I would recommend doing is you can share this hold and you can match it, and then you can come like this or like onto these and come out. Take a break, take a break. We're gonna have Ozzy climb first, because this is steep, so we have to actually take proper breaks. Oh, he's going again. He's going. No, you're not allowed to go yet. Keep climbing, get off the wall. Okay. We want a good second attempt. We want to send on your second try. We are taking five minute break, okay? okay. Good, very strong. Come on, good, good. There you go, come on. All the energy you got, yeah, nice job. Good, good. Switch feet, all right, that works. Yep, bring the feet across to the other wall. Good. Reach up, yep, save room. Save room in there for your other hand. Yeah, now get your feet up again. Wherever you want to get them. Yep, switch feet. Perfect. Now reach out. Good. Oh, yes. You got this one right here. Yep, come on. Next one's good. You can do it. Pull through. Come on. Do it. Do it. Oh. That was a great try. You got another move? So that's good. Let's just take like one or two minutes. We'll sit down. I want you to just try just that ending so that you have it in your head. Save room though. Here, I'll, I'll just push you up so you can match it. You good? Okay, you're on. Good, there you go. Bring those feet through. Good. Now stand tall, come on. Very good. Good, good job. High right foot, over to the right, up and right, on the orange wall. To the right, to the right, yep. Good job. That was awesome. You've got in two overlapping pieces, which is exactly what you wanna be able to do on a boulder problem, because once that you have it in those two overlapping pieces, it's time to give it a send try. So, let's rest up for a second. Good, there you go. Very good. Good, one more time with the left. Good. Come on, yes, yes, good. There you go. Perfect, very good, very good. Switch feet, right foot out right. Yup, there you go. Good. Good, take a deep breath now. Good, now match it up. Good, left foot really high. Yep, good. Good, come on. You can do this thing. Oh. He's dead. Rest in peace in the Evo cave. <laughs> good job, that was a really good try. That was awesome. Should be able to do it fresh. Yeah, you could do that fresh.
But that's okay. We're going to save energy and do some uh, fun training workouts upstairs. Yes. Cool. In the next video, Paul will assess my current level and give me a training plan. Make sure to subscribe so you can see it as soon as I upload it. If you haven't known yet, Paul has a YouTube channel himself. And his videos are breathtakingly beautiful. So make sure to check it out if you haven't yet. Paul also taught Rock Entry a lot of amazing climbing tips. So be sure to click the recommended video in the end screen to see it. I also want to thank Lizzie and Gary for filming the video. You guys are awesome. Lizzie has a YouTube channel and Gary makes amazing climbing training devices. Make sure to check them out as well. See you in the next video.